Welcome back to Daybreak this morning. It's natural for everyone to think their dog is the cutest dog. It's easier to tell which dog has more training. Creativity for anyone is a more difficult thing to measure. News Ace Justin Kolar talked to a woman who's found a creative way to turn rescue dogs into abstract artists. And these are some creative dogs, Teresa and Casey. I've seen elephants paint, pigs that can paint, but I've never seen bulldogs that can. Becky Wilkinson of West Michigan Bulldog Rescue is finding her artist muse in some pups who paint and helping them find their forever homes in the process. This is me. A face only a mother could love. They truly give me purpose. Bulldogs. They're pudgy, silly, sometimes stinky, and just full of love. Every day, they bring me joy by doing that. I, they do. I have I have one dog here that grooms the other dogs, um, and he's pretty. I mean, he grooms every single dog, not just their ears. <laughs> There's so many things about this breed that just draws me to them. But for Becky Wilkinson, the founder of West Michigan Bulldog Rescue in Nuego County, it's their neediness she loves most. Feed us, wipe our butts, scratch us, rub our bellies, make sure we are covered at bedtime, you know, feed, then feed us again. And they're, they're just so needy. And that's what I love about them. The pandemic hit her nonprofit hard. Donations dwindled. I can't tell you how much the pandemic has affected us. Until she had an idea. Hi, guys. So it's time to paint again. Bulldogs painting Baroque. The artist's brush, now a slimy tongue. It has worked out best for us. That's the first time. You know, I've tried auctions. I've, I've done 5K runs. And I haven't had as much interest as these paintings have had. Each painting brings these dogs one step closer home. And every time one leaves, I cry like a baby, but I can't give them everything that they need. They need the love of one family. Now, you may be wondering how it's safe for these dogs to paint with their tongues, Teresa and Casey, but Wilkinson places the paint blotches on the canvas and then puts that in a Ziploc bag covers the bag with peanut butter, so they're not really touching the paint. Now, last year alone, Wilkinson found forever homes for 42 bulldogs. For more information on how you can get a painting, foster, or adopt one of the bulldogs you just saw, head over to our website this morning. That's on woodtv.com. In the studio, I'm Justin Cole, our News 8. It's actually not a bad idea for kids, too. <laughs> yeah. To get them to paint without the mess. Exactly. Just put that in a bag, and they'll do their magic. Minus the peanut out. butter. <laughs> yeah.